Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover seven potato growing mistakes that you must avoid to grow the best potatoes of your life. So without taking any more time, let's get started. Mistake number one, not planting potatoes in the right time of the year. The potatoes are a cool weather crop. They don't like temperatures too hot or too cold. They don't like the frost or the snow. The best time to plant your potatoes in spring is a week before your last frost date, up to three weeks after your last frost date. Now in Northern Hemisphere, it's March or April depending on your zone. And in Southern Hemisphere, it's September or October. Now in autumn or fall, you must plant your potatoes at least three months before your first frost date. In Northern Hemisphere, it's August or September depending on your zone. And in Southern Hemisphere, it's February or March. If you're planting your potatoes in spring, you have to be mindful of summer heat. Potatoes do not like the heat. So if the nighttime temperature goes above 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 12 degrees Celsius, or the daytime temperature goes above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 26 degrees Celsius, potato plants will grow big and huge, but the potatoes will not form any tubers. I have people commenting in my other potato videos that they grew potatoes and the plants became really big, but when they dug up the soil, there were no potatoes in the soil. And that's because it got too hot for the plants to form tubers. Mistake number two, not choosing the right seed potato. Now I have a separate video on how you can make your own seed potato from a grocery store potato and also how to plant potatoes for a really big harvest. I'll leave those links in the description so you can check them out after this video. So in that video, I did mention that your potato size should be about two ounces, which is 50 grams, basically size of a large egg. Whether you plant whole potato or a cut potato, make sure you only have one to two chits on the potato, no more than two chits, because if there are a lot of chits on the potato, you'll get a lot of potato, but very small potatoes. Having one to two chits will ensure that you grow lots of big potatoes. And one more thing, if you're planting cut potatoes, make sure your potatoes are completely healed and scarred over before planting. Otherwise, they can harbor disease and fungus. Mistake number three, not preparing your soil properly. Now potatoes like loose soil at least up to 12 inches. So you can actually berm up or hill up the soil to plant your potatoes or use some sort of raised beds or these kind of wooden boxes or even cardboard boxes to plant your potatoes. I use 50% of my native soil along with 40% compost and 10% coconut coir to make my growing medium to grow my potatoes. Mistake number four, not using the proper fertilizers. Now, when I first plant my potatoes, I use organic 442 fertilizer, which is a very well balanced NPK ratio. Now, this kind of balanced fertilizer is really good to start growing your potatoes. It has enough nitrogen for the potato plants to become big and bushy and have lots of leaves. However, just about one month into growing potatoes, you want to cut down on nitrogen. You want to use the fertilizers that are 168 or 2410 or something like that. So the last number should be much bigger than the first number. So you can add a lot more potassium into your soil to grow really nice potatoes. I only fertilize my potatoes twice. Once when I plant with a balanced fertilizer and one month into growing potatoes with the high potassium fertilizer. My fertilizer is organic, it's 442, which has a very low NPK ratio as compared to other fertilizers, especially chemical fertilizers that are triple 16s or triple 12s. So I use about a quarter cup, about 50 grams of fertilizer per square feet. So about one cup, per four square feet, about 250 grams per four square feet. If you're using chemical fertilizers, you score the amount of that. Mistake number five, not having the proper pH level of your soil. Now, potatoes love slightly acidic soil. They love pH of around 5.5. So you can add sulfur in your soil to lower the pH level of your soil if your soil is too alkaline. Now, the amount of sulfur you need to add depends on the current pH level of your soil. And I have a separate video on all the calculation of what you need to do to lower the pH level of your soil. I'll leave a link in the description and you can check it out after this video. I like to keep my videos really concise and I pack a lot of information in a really short amount of time. So if you're liking the content so far, consider subscribing. Mistake number six, not healing your potatoes and not backfilling your potatoes in containers or raised beds. Now, you must know if your potatoes are determinate or indeterminate. Now, regardless, you should always be healing or filling back your potatoes. Now, indeterminate potatoes will benefit from the healing and they will produce a lot more potatoes. However, determinate potatoes do not actually benefit from healing. However, you must add more soil on your potato plants because potatoes are susceptible to going green with excess sunlight. So if the potatoes are growing, the tubers are actually growing too close to the surface, 
they will turn green. So you must backfill or heal your potato plants to prevent them from turning green. Mistake number seven, harvesting your potatoes too early. Now I've also made this mistake numerous times because I'm just too excited to dig those potatoes up. However, you must wait until half of the plant has completely died back. Even if you get frost or anything else happens and the potato plants die back, you can even wait two to three weeks after the potato plants die to harvest the potatoes. This will ensure the potatoes form thicker skin and they are cured properly. Now, as for watering, it depends on your temperature and it depends on the type of your soil. Now, I keep my soil moist at all times. The consistency of the soil should be like a wrung out sponge, not too wet, and not too dry and that's perfect moisture for growing potatoes. Now pests and disease can also occur on potatoes. Now common potato disease is called scab. However, if you keep the pH level of your soil slightly acidic around 5.5 to 6.0 that will prevent scab from happening. Now there are multiple pests that can bother potatoes too. Now the couple of common pests that bother potatoes are potato beetles and earwigs. For beetles, you can use diatomaceous earth. In order to get rid of earwigs, use iron phosphate. I have a separate video on complete guide to manage pests organically. So check that out right here, and I'll see you in another video.